Robolinux Multimedia Bonanza video. All four Robolinux Raptor 8.3 versions, good through 2020, also run Windows XP, 7, and Windows 10, inside them completely virus-free. As the Christmas and holiday season was approaching, Robolinux polled its user base extensively, asking, what hot new apps do you want in Robolinux, Cinnamon, Mate, XFCE, and LXDE Raptors, 32 and 64-bit? An overwhelming number of users responded with, we want more multimedia and privacy apps in Robolinux. Interestingly, many users asked for a packet sniffer to monitor their privacy amongst other things. So we listened carefully and delivered just in time for you for Christmas. If you download any of these stunningly fast Robolinux Raptors, you're not going to get bored this Christmas and holiday season. I guarantee it. This is John Martinson, and I'm the founder of Robolinux. You can call me Robo. Everyone else does. This is going to be a short video just to show you what hot new apps we've added to all of our Raptor 8.3 version operating systems. I hope you enjoy it. Okay, it's that time you've been waiting for to look at these beauties. All right, now the first one is Spotify, and I've got them all in an order here on nine desktops so you can look at them. But to show you how to install them in seconds with one click, you just go to the main menu in any Raptor uh, version and just go to Installers, and here you'll find them. So, for example, to install Spotify, just click there. So here's Spotify. Music streaming, podcast and video service, really popular people all around the world. Number two, what are you going to do with all those photos this Christmas? Well, why not make a movie? And you can do it in seconds, and you can even add music or sound. This Christmas, you can transform all those fun photos you took of people opening up their presents. Yeah, ties and socks. I hope not. And turn them into a real YouTube video. Now watch this one in desktop number three. Scribus. Oh my goodness, this is power. Desktop publishing. Makes magazines, newspapers, brochures, birthday cards, if you like. Just about anything you can dream up. This is great stuff, folks. And we're going to go to number four, which is Privoxy. And that is one that actually is invisible, but you install it right from the installers. What that will do is allow you to basically just, it's a privacy app. It's going to remove ads, banners, pop-ups, and other internet junk that's obnoxious that nobody wants to see. Very cool indeed. Open shot. Finally, an easy to use but really powerful with all the bells and whistles, video editor for Linux. Wait till you see the awesome video tutorial our installer takes you to right after you install it with just one click. I love this powerful but really easy to use video editor. So will you. Desktop 6, I have G-Thumb. Now wait till you see what you can do with this. You can take your photo albums, okay? And it has many useful features, such as file system browsing, slideshow, image catalogs, web album creation, as you can see here, Picasso, web album, photo bucket, Flickr, Facebook. And it's just got a lot in it. Um, it's got camera import, image, CD burning, batch file operations, and quick image editing features like transformation and color manipulation. Really great stuff. Here's one that you thought you didn't have. Pinta. This is an easy to use drawing and editing program like MS Paint only on steroids and of course much more stable. Don't worry, it's easier to use than Paint. And in desktop number eight, Specto, an unobtrusive update notification program. Hey, Want to know when any web page changes on the web? Well, now you can in an instant. Look at this. Any website you want, you can set the refresh interval to whatever number of hours. Type in the URL. You can set an error margin. 
I guess sometimes there's some uh, false positives, but you'll get the hang of it. It's wonderful. And finally, well, not yet finally, because we have a number 10, but in desktop number 9, guess what? This is going to really just blow your mind. Wireshark. A powerful network packet analyzer and sniffer. Are you interested in seeing what the big internet companies are doing with your privacy? <coughs> I won't mention any names. You know who they are anyway. Dig deeper into this app and you are going to see some really cool stuff. All right, I was going to show you the 10th app and actually what happens when you install OpenShot is you need the 3D app which is called Blender and so you get Blender and I mean I just I could go on for hours talking about Blender um, and OpenShot and actually all of these apps in case you missed our brand new LXDE Raptor release on November 13th 2015 take a look at this raw speed That was incredibly fast, wasn't it? Maybe you're wondering how we made RoboLinux LXDE Raptor so fast. Actually, this is the, it's radically fast. It's the fastest RoboLinux Raptor we've ever built, okay? I told you I'd tell you how we do this. Well, actually, it's pretty simple. It's because we built RoboLinux with raw Debian source code with no bloat. This is RoboLinux's 15th and 16th operating system we've built in the last year, designed so that Windows VMs, and in particular this one really, I mean, it just scorches fast with VMs, but it allows uh, VMs or virtual machines to run as fast as possible. People, this is an enormous amount of work. On May 1st, 2015, RoboLinux created the Open Source Software Foundation, ROSSF in order to significantly improve Linux desktop software applications written by Linux third-party developers who have no funding but really want to polish their apps just for you. We do require all users who download any Robo Linux operating system to join as a member for a teeny tiny donation. Every Linux user can afford to join the ROSSF. Unfortunately, most users have been complacent about this really awesome opportunity that directly benefits them by improving the software apps they use for free in Linux. Therefore, once again, I urge you to join the ROSSF. It is strictly for your benefit, not for ours. It's really actually pretty expensive for us to, to manage it. You can read all about the RoboLinux Open Source Software Foundation on our About webpage right here. As you can see, we provide monthly audits so you can be sure that this is a 100% legitimate foundation. Thank you for your time watching this RoboLinux video. I hope you have a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. May God bless you and your family.